Hello, welcome back to Chat About It. Don't shout about it with me, Rachel, the Queen of the Woke, as crowned by one of my haters. Today, we are looking at something from bleedingcool.com. Remember that this is a break from my usual content because I am currently away. So I've pre recorded a load of stuff for you to watch every day so that you are not without. Today, I've got an article from bleedingcool.com, and this was actually released quite a while ago. I actually saw it a little while ago back. In August, actually, now that I think about it, the, the time it says here, because that's when I saved it. And this is about Doctor Who's psychic paper. I've not read the article, so this is going to be a recorded live reaction, so to speak. Doctor Who's psychic paper is one of the show's best inventions ever. Let's see if we agree, because I know my immediate thought on the psychic paper and that it is probably one of the most useless plots points whatever you want to call it in the show's history but then again you will know what i think of the sonic screwdriver as well psychic paper is the coolest most underrated invention ever on doctor who and it's the best symbol for not only the show but all its stories Okay, this is going to be an interesting one because the psychic paper is literally just used to get the doctor into places because there's no creativity behind it. But let's see what we've got. By the way, I'm going to have a quick look at the toys a bit later on in this video, so stick around for that one as well. Doctor Who has a lot of gadgets, that's true, characters, also true, and inventions that could sell toys, but the most underrated invention on the show might be the Doctor's psychic paper. Now, the reason why they haven't sold the psychic cake paper as a toy, as far as I'm aware, is because anyone could make a piece of paper and say it's psychic paper. Anyway, let's carry on. The Doctor carries it around in a wallet and flashes it to fool people into believing whatever official cover identity the Doctor is posing as to be given access to a place to investigate stuff. Hmm, I've just recently watched the War Games and there was no psychic paper in that, but yet he actually infiltrated the German camp. And he infiltrated that with creativity and very little issue. Psychic paper is supposed to be a telepathic interface. It's blank and the doctor projects whatever identification they say uh, they are onto. Right, they, mm, he. And the viewer of the piece of paper would see or think they see a photo ID, health inspector, cop, detective, anything the doctor made up as long as it sounded official. It's a prime tool. Wait a minute. As long as the Doctor made it up, I thought that the Doctor didn't have any control over it because sometimes it says something completely different. Anyway, that's just my opinion. It's a prime tool for social engineering, which is the fancy upmarket word for con job. Maybe the reason tie-in psychic paper merchandise isn't sold is that it's just a blank piece of paper in any wallet. Well, well done. I said that right at the beginning. Wow. Anyone could create their own psychic paper toy with just a wallet and a piece of paper. It's in keeping with showrunner Russell T. Davis' new philosophy that anyone could cosplay the Doctor now by literally wearing anything. The Doctor is a state of mind and so is the psychic Paper. So because the Doctor is a state of mind, you're saying that, you know, the psychic paper is now the coolest thing ever. But there's a greater point about the psychic paper, which is that all paper is psychic paper. After all, every blank piece of paper has whatever you want to see on it. Blank paper is the ultimate receptacle for telepathic thought. You can then write your idea on it, whether it's drawing words or fake ID or a script. For Doctor Who, you could say every story was written on psychic paper. This makes psychic paper the best symbol for not only the show, but also imagination in general. Doctor Who didn't invent psychic paper. The series only gave it that extra name. Oh, my God. I, I disagree with that, okay? Back in the day, with classic Who, the episodes... And the stories, they were all like a lot longer. So early days, it would have been like six parts to a story and then it went down to four and then it would go to two and three and four. And it would generally sort of float around those areas. And part of the creativity behind Doctor Who was actually having the Doctor use his mind, which is why they ditched the sonic screwdriver in the first place, even though sonic screwdriver is used a lot less in classic series than it is 
knew who knew who they just whip it out at every possible opportunity i think the doctors that have used it probably the least is jody and even shooty to a degree but then shooty's doctor is quite a useless doctor so he wouldn't think to use it in the first place anyway all rtd did by introducing psychic paper was basically speed up the plot that's all he did the the psychic paper other than that doesn't actually add anything to it because at most they find out that the doctor was lying to them which was also a thing that they used in classic who so there's nothing creative behind it and whilst i do agree the paper is i guess you could say psychic paper because there's nothing on it until you want to put whatever you want on it i think you just read too much into it all right let's have a quick look at the new toys that are coming out or have come out at this point okay so finally doctor who's latest stars are getting the toys that they deserve what do you think about this so let's just take a look at them i don't really like looking at dolls but let's do it anyway it's just a bit of fun so they look all right it's not the worst i've seen certainly not the best i've seen and it is quite safe to say it looks like they have officially set this costume that Shooty is wearing as the official costume for his doctor because guess what they would have to because there are too many so they would have to choose one in order to be able to promote their toys they keep coming back to this jacket so let's go with this let's say this is his official costume the one that we would prefer to see him in all the time and actually out of all the ones that he's worn this is probably the best one to you so this is from gizmodo and they're talking about the doctor who merchandise with the show's return in 2005 when remote controlled daleks were the must-have of the gift buying season have been long over for a good while now but the arrival of the new doctor usually means that at least something manages to materialize on the shelves to go with their arrival so it's been a very long time coming uh, at last the 15th doctor and his best friend are getting at their moment no his best friend's donna noble but okay whatever while ruby will come with just a couple of general accessories her phone and her shoulder bag the doctor will come with more interesting ones including his psychic paper wow well, they've made his psychic paper an actual thing and the latest version of the shoe driver sorry the sonic screwdriver and hilariously the landmine <laughs> i love how they find this hilarious from the best episode of his debut season literally when i read that i just had these like images and reactions in my mind of like people so <laughs> suddenly just like like making him go boom now you can perfectly recreate the doctor having to stand still on a landmine on your shelf should be easy action figures don't move uh the vortex boxed release of the 15th doctor of ruby uh were available on the 17th of october for 40 pounds 40 jeez oh it says here that they're running with different colored designs for the doctor and ruby's outfits which will launch as a standalone releases later in the year. Jeez, okay, maybe we're not getting the official confirmation of Shooty's actual Doctor costume. Maybe I'll buy Fisherman Shooty and stand him over there. But then that would mean looking at the doll. I'm not buying it. Will you buy it? So I will be back tomorrow at 4pm. It will be a travel related video, not of my time on my holiday at the moment. I will do a separate thing for that altogether if you would like to see it. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to chat about it, don't chat about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.